Welcome back sa ating tutorial sa mga idol. So, ito ngayon ay yung para sa 2019 MMC Grade 10, grade 10 Team Orals National Finals for Easy Round. Okay, so question number 1 tayo agad. If, if 2 raised to A equals 5, what is 4 raised to A plus 2? 2 raised to A daw equals sa 5. Ang hinahanap is 4 raised to A plus 2. Okay. Ito, saan to equal? Equal siya sa 2 raised to 2 times a plus 2. Parang nangyari ito. Kasi diba yung 4, equal siya sa 2 raised to 2. Then, distribute na natin itong 2. Equal siya sa 2 raised to 2 a plus 4. Then ito, pag addition yan, pag multiply na lang natin. 2 raised to a times 2 raised to 4. Okay mga idol. Then, ang sabi dito, ang 2 raised to a daw is equal to 5. So, ibig sabihin, 5 raised to, itong 2 raised to a na to equal siya sa 5. So, 5 raised to 2 na siya. Times. Saan siya times? 2 raised to 4. So, kung isi-simplify natin to, equal na siya sa 25 times 2 times 2. 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16, 16 times 25. 400. So, the correct answer is 400. Okay, question number 2 na tayo mga idol. The legs of, the, of a right triangle are 6 and 12 cm long. What is the area of the circle that circumscribe the triangle? Okay, so may right triangle daw tayo. Okay. Right triangle. 6 daw yung side, yung isa at 12. Tinatanong, what is the area of the circle circumscribe the triangle? So, ito yung area na itong circle na to So, sorry kung hindi ako marunong sa drawing. <laughs> Oops. Dapat dumikit yan. Yan. O, imagine na lang natin, sakto yan. <laughs> okay. So, ang tatanong, yung area nitong circle. Kapag yung right triangle sa nirocomscribe ng circle, ang hypotenuse niyan, equal yan sa sa diameter ng circle. Okay. So, hanapin na lang natin itong hypotenuse niya hypotenuse nung right equal yan siya sa diameter nung circumscribing circle. So, paano mahanap hypotenuse? Pythagorean h equals square root of 6 squared plus 12 squared h equals square root of 36 plus 144 then h equals square root of 180 then, h equals 36, 5, 6, square root of 5. Okay? Kung ito hypotenuse, ito rin diameter. So, ano ang radius ng circle? Ay, di 3, square root of 5. Kasi, di ba, kalahati ng diameter yung radius. Yan, tinatanong, what is the area of the circle? Ang area is pi r squared. So, magiging pi, anong square nito? 3 times 3, 9. So, square natin ito, matatanggal yung radical. So, times 5 na lang. 9 times 5 is 45. So, the correct answer is 45 pi cm squared. 45. Okay, for question number 3. Find the coordinates of the vertex of the parabola. Y equals 2x squared plus 4x plus minus 3. 2x squared plus 4x minus 3. Okay, ano na yung formula para sa vertex? Pag na vertex form, di ba? Negative b over 2a kama 4ac minus b squared all over 4a. So, dito, unang mahanap natin is yung sa x coordinate, yung h. So, substitute natin, negative b over 2a. Negative 4 divided by 2 times 2, 4. So, negative 1. Okay? And then, mula rito, substitute na lang natin to Hindi na natin ito kailangan sundin kasi negative 1 naman to So, mas madali na i-substitute na natin sa x. So, negative 1 squared 1 times 2 is 2. Then, negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. Then, minus 3. Then, equal siya sa negative 2, negative 5. Okay? So, the correct answer is, yan, negative 1, comma, negative 5. Question number 4 na po tayo. Okay, let g sub 1 plus g sub 2 plus g sub 3 
so on via an infinite geometric series with a common ratio of two thirds. If g sub 3 is equal to 4, what is the sum of the series? Okay. So, una alam natin na yung formula ng infinite geometric series is equal to a sub 1 all over 1 minus r. Okay. So, dito, wala tayong a sub 1 or g sub 1. Given lang g sub 3 at saka yung common ratio. So, paano natin mahanap to? Kung yung g sub 3 equal sa 4, ano yung g sub 2? So, di-divide lang natin ng 2 thirds. So, ito times natin ito ng reciprocal. Magiging 2 times 3, 6. Yun yung g sub 2. And then, ito rin times lang rin natin ng 3 over 2 para makuha yung g sub 1. So, 3 times 3 is 9. So, yun yung g sub 1 natin. Then, lapag na lang natin dito. So, s sub n equals yung g sub 1 natin, 9 minus common ratio na 2 thirds. Then, s sub n is equal to 9 times, saan natin na times sa 3. Okay? Kasi, di ba, 1 third 2. So, kung reciprocal natin, 1 third 3. So, times 3 na lang. So, s sub n is equal to 27. Okay, para sa question number 5. Um, anong question number 5 natin? What is the radius of the circle with equation x squared plus y squared minus 6y equals 3? Okay, shortcut na lang natin to. x squared plus y squared minus 6y equals 3. So ito, kung radius lang man inahanop, hindi mo na kailangan talaga isa-isa ito i-convert. Kasi mental naman ito eh. So, pag nakatake ng ganito, gawin nyo dito is divide na lang ng 2 sa by squared sa so, by plus 1. So, negative 6 divide 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. So, 3 plus 9 equals sa uh, 12. Ito na yung r squared, di ba? Equal yun sa r squared. So, r equals uh, dito, 2 square root of 3. So, that's the correct answer. 2 square root of 3 units. Question number 6. A line has slope negative 2 and passes through the point 1, comma 4. Find the equation of the line. Okay, kapag given yung slope tsaka yung point, isang point, ito lang yan, di ba? Equation niya is y equals y sub 1 is equal to m times quantity x minus x sub 1. So, y minus, ano yung y sub 1 natin? 4. Then, m na negative 2 times x minus 1. And 1 minus 4 equals negative 2x plus 2. Ipata rin sa kabila. Y equals negative 2x plus 6. So, this is the correct answer. Y equals negative 2x plus 6. Okay, question number 7. In an arithmetic sequence, the sum of the first four terms is 20, while that of the 7 is 47. What is the sixth term of the sequence? So, una, the sum of the first four terms is 20. So, ano yun siya? Pag first four terms is 4a plus 6d equals 20. Yan yung sum ng first four terms. Derive yan. Then, yung per 7 is sum niya. 7a plus 21d equals 47 daw. So, dito, pwede natin isubtract. Nagiging 3a plus 15d equals 27. Then, ang hinahanap, 6 term. So, dito, pwede natin pansin na ang a, divide natin ng 3, a plus 5d equals 9. 6 term. Ano ba yun sa arit may sequence yung 6 term? a sub 6 equals a sub 1 plus 6n minus 1. Diba 5 times difference? So, ito, yun yung 6 term. So, anong value ng 6? Ng 6 term? E di 9. So, yun lang yung correct answer. 9. Okay, question number 8. Ito, maganda to. Given two parabolas, what are the possible number of points of the intersection of these parabolas? So, kung magkalayo ng parabola ng dalawa, halimbawa ganito. So, 0. So, may 0 na tayo. Then, pwede bang maging isang intersection lang? Pwede. Kapag sareho sila nung vertex. Okay, may 1 na tayo. Pwede ba maging dalawa? Pwede. 
parabola na to then yung isa dumaan lang yung isang parang ano nga nga so 1 tsaka 2 pwede yan 2 ay yung 3 pwede ba? pwede kung yung isang parabola then yung pangalawa yung vertex nya nandito sa isang parang ano nya leg leg yan kita nyo 1 2 3 so pwede yung 3 then 4 syempre pwede yung 4 yan, ganyan, tsaka yan okay, 1, 2, 3, 4 then 5 yan 5, tsaka na nga yun na ano pang sagot pag yung parabola na ito then another parab parabola, nag-coincide sila sagot is infinitely many yan okay, question number 9 Jose and his younger brother Pepe can clean their house together in 3 hours working alone Jose can clean four ninths of the house in two hours. How long will it take Pepe to clean the house alone? So, kung si Pepe at si Jose nagtulungan, kaya nila nung tatlong oras lang. So, ibig sabihin, sa isang oras, one third nung buong bahay, kaya nila together. So, ito is together. Okay? Then, si Jose alone, kaya niya raw four over nine sa loob ng dalawang oras. So, sa isang oras, 2 over 9. So, ang tanong, how long will it take to Pepe take Pepe to clean the house alone? So, subtract lang natin to Together, tsaka yung close. 1 third minus 2 over 9 equals 9, 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 9. Yung part nung kay Pepe sa loob ng isang oras, yung tayatanong, how long? So, kunin lang natin itong reciprocal, 9 hours. So, the right answer is 9 hours. Okay, for the last question is around what is the probability of getting exactly two heads in flipping a, a fair coin four times? Okay, so fair coin naman siya, big sabihin, yung number of ways na pwede mangyari is 2 raised to 4, yung sa denominator natin. Then getting exactly two heads in flipping a coin four times. So four times, pero two heads lang. So 2 raised to 4 is 16. Then 4C2, 4C2, 4 times 3 over 2 times 1. So 2 na lang, 2, 2 times 3 is 6. So 3, 6 over 16 or 3 over 8. So that is the correct answer.